This project has been dreamed about for many years and we're excited to share it with all of you today. This project has started now because of a very generous gift on behalf of the Bosselman family of $250,000. It's been given in the name of Charles and Jan Bosselman and with us today are Charlie and Lori and Jan and Brandy and her husband as well as their daughter Katie and Kinsey, Kinsey Bosselman's with us today mm -hmm. also as recent graduate of senior high this year. The Grand Island School District has agreed to match the Bosselman gift of two hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Well we're uh, we're happy to be a part of this you know uh, uh, my daughter just recently graduated so we've been involved with the fine arts of uh, Grand Island Senior High now for several years with two kids going through there and we going through that whole process saw that there was a need for a lot of these improvements and uh, uh, when my father passed away he really wanted to do something for the community and he spent a lot of years not only going to senior high um, but coming and watching his grandkids uh, perform on stage and uh, he really enjoyed that part of it and uh, we just thought this would be a great thing we saw a need you know, our, our kids got a great experience out of this environment. Um, uh, I've got nieces and nephews now coming up that uh, will probably enjoy it also. So we felt it was a, a great thing to get involved with and uh, we're, we're happy to help out with the, uh, uh, the fundraising efforts and, and really put forth a, a new masterpiece that's uh, been here. In fact, uh, uh, I believe my mother actually even performed on stage back in Quite. 62 and 63. Yeah, so I mean, it's it served our family for a lot of years and uh, we're happy to be involved. The building you're standing in today was completed in 1955. Students began to occupy these halls in September of 1955 and the building was completed in November of that same year. So it's 57 years old. These chairs that you're going to see in there today are original to the original building. They are 57 years old. And what can you say has lasted 57 years? Uh, it's an amazing, amazing uh, theater and facility that we have. It's a remarkable structure, and the foresight of our predecessor, uh, predecessors is unprecedented, and we still thank them today for their foresight. The same care taken to provide the facility has been taken this year to provide an update that will take us far into the future. The concept is shooting stars going from left to right over the door opening to this wonderful theater. People's names will be along an acrylic wall filled with light for years to come with stars surrounding their names as well as anyone that offers $200 or more. Acoustical wall panels will be installed inside the back wall of this theater. Auditorium sound system and intercom will be redone. Install an electric trench duct from the control booth and sound booth to the stage itself to get rid of existing wiring on top of the floor which people are constantly tripping over right now. Install LED lighting along the aisles. Remove and replace existing flooring in the auditorium and little theater and dressing rooms includes asbestos abatement. Refurbish existing seating in both the auditorium and little theater. Replace the stage floor completely in the little theater Provide a sound curtain on stage in front of the current heating and air conditioning units. Upgrade the fly system for the curtains. Replace a sound door system between the auditorium and little theater. And all of these will greatly enhance this theater, but most noticeably will be the carpet and the seating. One year from now, June of 2014, all of the chairs will be removed, taken to a facility. They will be repainted they will be reupholstered, and then they will be returned. They will be returned before the start of school in August. While they are gone, everything else will be finished. The back wall, the trench, everything else will be taking place while those are out of the theater. And then in August, we'll have our theater back. And now it's our great pleasure to show you a prototype of the chairs that will be gracing this facility in Little Theater a year from now. This is the same frame that sits in the theater now. It is an amazing transformation by the exact same company 
that originally put these chairs in in 1954.